Hey, fishy folks. Today I'm going to talk about what I do to prepare my fish tanks and my fish room when I leave for an extended period of time. I'm not talking a day or two where I'm not here because I do absolute, absolutely nothing. In fact, I don't do anything if I'm gone for five or less days. I don't have anyone feed them. I don't do anything different with water changes. I don't have anyone come down here at all to check on anything because I have some systems set up where hopefully everything will be okay. And even if it wasn't okay, I'm not sure anybody could do anything about it. But that's a whole nother story. So if I'm gone for six or more days, I will have someone come down here and feed once. So I'm going away for 14 days. I leave Saturday morning at eight o'clock and I come home in two weeks. On Saturday, I'll probably be in my house around 6 p.m. So what does that mean? Well, Saturday morning I'll get up, I'll feed the tanks as normal, and nothing will happen for probably three or four more days. One of my sons will come down here, drop in some uh, kelp wafers from Northfin. I love these things. I like them better than the, uh, the Hakari ones. They have great ingredients, and of course you get them at supercichlids.com. Use code SHIP for free for free shipping. Um, while I'm gone, my son will just feed some flake food, probably this brine shrimp flakes from Ocean Nutrition. Put a link in the description below where you can get this. Um, I like the Ocean Nutrition flake food. It doesn't uh, seem to break down as fast as some of the Tetra ones or some of the other brands. Really soft and you put them in the water, clouds the water. Uh, that means there's usually more fillers and not good stuff in there. So this is a lot of, a lot of good stuff. 50 percent, 56% pure protein. Sorry, crude protein. Um, I may actually, before I leave, not for any other reason, but because uh, it's my schedule, make some rapashi morning wood <laughs> um, for my pleco tanks, drop that in there, and even if they don't eat in one day, uh, the second or third day it's there, they can graze on it, no problem. So that's what happens when I'm gone. And uh, you may be saying to yourself, but I feed my fish every day. Aren't they gonna get hungry? So I'm strictly talking about guppies and other smaller live bearers, even my Oscars to some extent, but they're a little bit different. Um, and the goldfish too. There's plenty to eat in a tank for them. There's algae, there's um, the microfilm, there's other tiny little organisms that are in the tank that the, especially the babies can eat off of off all the live plants there's some organisms going on there so they'll eat off that while uh, while they're not getting fed commercial food and be fine um, but like I said I don't do anything if I'm gone for five days or less uh, because in the wild fish don't get food every day probably I mean that's just how it is the key to this is having healthy fish to begin with if your tanks aren't healthy you might see, have some problems. <clears throat> that just goes back to proper husbandry of the pets you keep or the fish you keep and making sure everybody is healthy. Buy them from a reputable source. Uh, quarantine them. Give them medicines if you so choose to. If you don't, don't. But my fish are healthy. I know my fish can survive five days without food, without me giving them food. Now. What about water changes? Well, mine's on an auto water change system. I don't change that while I'm gone. I change the same amount of water while I'm here, while I'm gone, approximately 10% daily. What about you? What are you gonna do? Some people like to do a large volume water change right before you leave. I wouldn't do that. Um, you don't really wanna change anything right before you leave because you're not there to see the results. So if you're leaving on a Saturday and you want to change the water on, say, Thursday, that's fine. You have all of Friday to see if there's any problems. Maybe you forgot the dechlorinator. Maybe uh, something happened with your pH and it changed. And that might affect your fish. Now, all those things shouldn't really matter when you change the water if you're doing it right. I'm not here to tell you how to change water. You probably know how to change water. And if not, you, there's a thousand videos on YouTube how to change water in an aquarium. But you don't really wanna do anything different, like I said, before you leave, because um, you, you don't know what's, what the effect is gonna be. So I like to leave things the same. 
what if you have to have somebody come in while you're gone say you're gone for 10 days you have a community tank it's got some angel fish in it it's got some some cherry barbs in it and a pleco what, what do you do if it was me I would have one of my sons do it and uh, I would explain to them exactly what I need them to do when I need them to do it and make it so they can't screw it up right so I take a little baggie and say okay I want you to drop in two of these wafers in the bag and I label it um, gone for seven days I want you to do it uh, on the third day and the sixth day so whatever the third day is let's say the third day is Monday Monday two kelp wafers and in that bag I put another smaller bag with whatever food I'd want to feed probably um, flake food I'd crush it up so all they have to do is go and dump it in and I do the same thing for day two then hide the food most people want to overfeed the fish if they don't know now personally I overfeed the crap out of my fish but I also have water changes going on every day and the reason I overfeed my fish you ask is so they grow fast so I can sell them to you full disclosure purpose of the fisherman is to make money but that's a whole nother topic um, what about if you're gone for you know two weeks are they gonna need a water change so here's the thing why do we change water typically to remove nitrates if your cycle is uh, working you know the ammonia is being converted into nitrite the nitrate is being converted into nitrates boom if you have plants in your tank you probably don't need to change the water as often as you are but that's up to you what you want to do I like to tell people when they ask me how often should I change water you need to change water when your nitrate reaches a, a certain level however long that takes now what is that level most people do it at 40 parts per million uh, which if you're using the API test kit is a nice bright red um, some people do it at 20 parts per million I, it, it's up to you it's your fish I would do it at 40 parts per million um, that's what I would choose and what what you have to understand is if you have a 20 gallon tank with 10 guppies in it let's say 10 male guppies in it and it's planted and you feed the same amount every day in most cases your nitrate level will go up the same amount in the same amount of time if you overfeed your nitrate level will go up higher if you underfeed your nitrate level will probably go up slower if plants die if fish die that all changes the equation the calculation if you will so when do you change water when you're on vacation I probably won't have anyone change my water because you probably don't need to because you're going to be feeding less so there's going to be less nitrates created hope this is making sense I don't really want to go into how the cycle works that's going to be another video I'm sure all right let's summarize <clears throat> me this is what i do in my fish room this is what works for me you can do what's best what you think is best for you because in most cases that's what is so if i'm going away for five days or less i do absolutely nothing nobody feeds them nobody comes here and checks on them nothing if i'm going away for six days or more i'll have somebody come down here and feed every three to four days I label the tanks with what I need fed if it's something other than flake food. I leave the food out on my workbench, which hopefully will be cleaned off for them so it's easy. I tell them only use this food. Now, I trust my kids that they're not going to add extra. Most people in your house that don't understand, oh, those little fish only get that little food, they're going to be hungry. They ate it in two minutes. They're hungry still. Hide the food because people will overfeed and that'll be detrimental to your tank <clears throat> what do I do if I have fry the same thing I do if I don't absolutely nothing different there's plenty to eat in a tank for the fry there's algae there's biofilm there's other microorganisms so they'd be fine um, what about plecos nothing there's algae there's biofilm if there's wood in the tank, which there should be for the algae, they can snack on that. It's delicious. Uh, I think that's about it, guys. So that's what I do. Me, Mike, from Michael's Fish Room. What I do if I go on vacation or I go on a business trip. If you have any questions, shoot me an email, michaelsfishroom.com. 
for all your guppy needs and soon plecos. Hope everyone has a great day. I know you love the shirt. See ya. Let's make sure the hair is good. I should probably powder that so it's not so shiny. <laughs> that, that'd be funny. Hi, fishy folks. I'm here to tell you what to do before you go on vacation. No, I'm not. That's wrong. Take two. Click. Hi, fishy folks. Today I'm going to tell you what I do to my fish tanks before I leave on vacation or business trip. Now, here's the thing. There's two different ways I go about this. If I'm gone for five or more days, I, let me rephrase that. If I'm gone, I'm just going to start over. <laughs> 